Breaking news on the Young Turks. George Bush has just set a new record. Lowest disapproval or highest disapproval rating. In other words, the most unpopular president of all time. He's broken a new record. Uh, Richard Nixon, when he left office, was at a 67% uh, disapproval rating. George Bush has broken it, according to the CNN uh, Opinion Research Corporation poll that is out today. He is at 71% disapproval rating. No other president in modern history has ever gotten into the 70s. George Bush, congratulations. You are the new record holder for the most unpopular president of all time. As a corollary, by the way, I'd like to congratulate John McCain on following that president in trying to become the next president. If you said to me, there's a guy at 71% disapproval rating, would you like to copy his every move? My answer would have been no. But John McCain, he's more courageous than that. He went with yes. And as a second corollary to that, I'd like to uh, congratulate the Democrats in the Senate and the House for losing every legislative battle to that record-holding most unpopular president of all time. I don't know how you did it, but congratulations. Because if you lose every legislative battle to this guy, that means you can't beat anybody. I mean, literally, no one's ever been this unpopular. And the Democrats couldn't figure out a way to get out of Iraq. By the way, that same poll shows uh, approval rating for the Iraq war also at an all-time low. Uh, for a while, it picked up when this nonsense about the, uh, the surge is working and it's a success, was getting some traction in the media. Now that that gloss is worn off, by the way, another double suicide bombing today in Iraq, American people are like, oh, I got it. Five years, it's a mess. It's never going to work. Uh, the only American wars that have lasted longer at this point, by the way, is the Revolutionary War uh, and the Vietnam War. Um, so, uh, the American people say 30% approval rating for the Iraq War, 68% disapproval they've had enough uh, except John McCain has not gotten that memo and apparently the Democrats in Congress did not get it enough to be able to accomplish that mission